Is it not true that the mosque is the seat of government? It is a supposedly a, a house of worship, if you will, but also a seat of government. It's a, it's a training center. It's an armory. It is many things. And knowing that and understanding that, do you believe many of our mosques in America are indeed armories stockpiled with weaponry? Let me answer it this way. Not some of them. I've said it many times. I will continue saying it. Every time a mosque is built, first of all, that is a sign that that area has been conquered by Islam. The very first reason for existence of a mosque is because the area was conquered. It has enough population of Muslims that they need their Sharia court. In a foreign country that is not Islamic, there is a Sharia court within a mosque because you need an imam to be able to make Islamic judgment, family related, business related, or jihad related. That's number one. So every time you see a mosque, or I believe we have 1600 mosques around America, that is 1600 areas conquered by Sharia. Secondly, who has the right to call up on a jihad? Not some random Muslim guy, no. It has to be a supreme leader, an imam, or a mufti. So an imam inside of a mosque isn't there to lead a Friday prayer, no. A mom is sitting there to call on jihad when needed. Just like the Iranian imam who got a visa, came to Florida, gave a speech, and told all his Muslim audience in the mosque to go out there and kill all gay people out of mercy to put them out of their misery and sinful life. Three days later, what happened? A gay club in Florida people died. That's what imams do. The third part of it, yes, every Muslim who pays the zakat, they pay it to their local imam. That local imam is the one who's going to spend that money for jihad. One of the main things they need to do or commit jihad is obviously weapons. Yes, they purchase them and gather them do the blueprint, have it ready, and then start building their armies. And everything I just said, you can find them in Quran, in Hadith, and in reliance of the traveler, which is the collection of sacred Islamic law. And of course, we know there are different kinds of jihad. There's cultural jihad, and then there's the violent jihad. And you're just speaking of the vi both there in that answer. Yes, or even financial jihad. Which there, would be your Sharia finance or zakat. Or, or even political jihad, the imam, if you notice any of these Muslims who are candidates, when their candidates running, the first person standing next to them is their imam, encouraging the Muslim of that community to get behind the candidate and vote for them. In any form of jihad, all four types of jihad, an imam is the one who's going to approve it.